storage is a very critical piece yes. of uh, the transition puzzle because uh, renewables still uh, need to get up to the critical mass in terms of uh, capacity to the point where they can really meet uh, base load. Can you just bring us up to speed, uh, Alex, in terms of where Aquila is helping in that regard and what it brings to the table and where we are on a global level? Well, storage is a massive topic um, for the simple reason that solar and wind are so-called intermittent energy resources. So they only produce when the sun shines, when the wind mm. blows. Um, the, today's power grids are not designed for that. Today's power grids are designed for big central generators. So it means if we distribute and decentralize generation, we need um, to stabilize the grid. This can either be done by enhancing it, uh, which will take a lot of time, but is, is in, the, in, the, in the plans of most countries. But short-term batteries help a lot to stabilize the grid. And this is something where we see a strong investment focus for us in the coming years in, in all the markets we're active here in, in, in Asia and beyond that in Europe. So we've done energy investments uh, in Europe. We're doing energy investments in Australia. And, and broadly speaking, you can use these assets standalone, so to stabilize the grid, so to, to, to kind of provide grid stabilizing services, mm -hmm. or you can use those assets in combination with a generator, so with solar, wind, um, for example, for load shifting. If this is about scale, if this is about upgrading and modernizing existing uh, networks and the infrastructure, where are we in terms of uh, the ASEAN uh, power grid, and to what degree will that help? Well, ASEAN, um, as you know, is still um, very dependent on fossil fuels, so to more than 80%. Um, so while we think ASEAN has a massive potential for the implementation of renewable energy, um, a, a lot of work needs to happen in the coming decades. Uh, but we think um, uh, it has massive potential, 600 million people, um, growing GDP per person, um, growing energy requirements, um, etc. Would a grid help in terms of, of filling in the, the deficits and uh, providing an offtake for, from the surplus countries? Well, well the, the, the grid in ASEAN, I think one of, one of the main challenges is that it's not connected very well. So if the grid would be connected better, then it would help definitely because the grid serves as a battery in a, in a sense. You see this in Europe where all the bigger countries are connected. So if you have a surplus in one country, it can be, um, can be offloaded in another country. So this, this is like a natural battery in a sense.